There are uh, now some unique challenges to being a police officer. Probably not unique historically. I think we've had moments like this before, but we're at a very difficult time. I say being a police officer for sure. I think throughout the first responder community, it's challenging. Um, but talk about how difficult it is, <laughs> and I, I know it is because I've talked to, to many in this community, how difficult it is to then get help when it's hard to get help anyhow, when you feel like your community is against you. I mean, probably the, the biggest example right now, a police officer was killed in Chicago last week, and the mayor of Chicago, who just allowed a concert with like 35,000 people in her city, said that they can't do an honor guard because of COVID. I mean, she shut it down, and she shut it down because she does not respect uh, or want to be associated with law enforcement in her community. But that's happening across the country. And it, it alienates the first responder community from the communities that they intend to serve. Um, it, it's crazy for me, you know, you know this community where we are in Murrieta, um, incredibly supportive community for first responders, police, fire, um, very integrated community in terms of their support you know, for those who serve us. But there are a lot of places, many places, maybe most places that that's not the case. Can you talk about um, the challenge <laughs> that that brings to those in that community getting the help they need? Well, like you said, when, when I was a police officer, which was 93 to 2004, so I've been retired a bit. I mean, besides the uh, people we were dealing with, people were taking the jail, right. we had a lot of support. Right. You know, not only in the communities, I mean, it, it, and this is a, a big mistake that they think in those communities the you know down there in the hood and you know the the lower income that they don't support us absolutely they support us they love us they need us being there they want us there 100 percent in every right. community you know the lie in the media of, of they hate us is not the case at all for sure but back then like like i said i i had a lot of support you know being a police officer was something you can be proud of you know um when people ask you what you did i mean was it prideful? I don't know, but I was proud of what I did for sure. hundred yeah. percent. I was proud that I was a police officer and it's so I can't imagine it now and I can't fully comprehend because I'm not actually in it now, but I feel it. And, and, and for me personally, I've had to stay off media watching what's being said a lot just because it gets me so angry and I, I know that's not good for me. So I really, really uh, take my time and, and, and don't spend a lot of time watching what's being said. I want to, keep up the date because it, it, it will really bother me. Yeah. So I can't imagine what those guys are going through, just the perception and this false narrative of who police officers are. And right. I got a, <laughs> I got a great story of this, not a great story, a sad story that we have like personal friends. We had these, it's got, we've been friends with friends with from church and Quinny, my wife was at, at their house one time and the wife asked my wife, she asked Quinny, like, why do police officers kill black people? Hmm. And I was like, how, how, how could you even think something like that? It's so far from the truth of what police officers are about, you know? And I don't sit there and say, yeah, is there bad police officers? I'm sure there is, you know, I could tell you this, you know, my 10 years career, I didn't have one guy ever do anything because of race or prejudice or bias. Right. I mean, you know, they, they, uh, <laughs> they took care of business because those guys need business taken care of, you know? Um, but this, that, that perception of who police officers are, right. that they're out there hunting black people is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. And sadly, man, like my heart really breaks for the police officers now to have to work that profession, knowing that every day they go there, knowing they might not go home, Yeah, you know? And those same people, those same people that hate them are the ones that are calling them when they need help. And it's just like, I can't even comprehend it. Can't yeah. even comprehend it. You know, I had, I was listening to this thing on YouTube. This is pretty funny. I'm gonna kind of switch gears here. I was watching this police officer. He was videotaping himself and I don't do it justice, but he's videotaping himself. He's cracking up and he's like, he's like, I'm on my way. And he can't even say it with a straight face. I'm on my way to defund the police because the people marching want the police to come and protect them. <laughs> and these are the people who are marching for defund the police. Right. I mean, that's just the, the, the craziness of what's going on right now. Yeah. That, you know, things like that are happening. Good people are so are so misguided of this, this narrative that the media and the politics and right. 
basically at war with police officers. Yeah. It's, it's sad. You know? it's, it's a crazy time.